you're... You are... Yeah. I'm Batman. <laughs> that actually is... Pretty funny! <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Arkham Asylum. Hello. The purpose of this tape is to prepare you for your role as a psychiatrist. Oh god, I'm gonna be a psychiatrist. Tools to help our patients here. What patients we got as then? As part of our psychiatry staff, you get to take part in the healing process of our patients. Okay. By doing this, you are helping our patients to slowly begin the process of re-entering. Makes me wonder what kind of patients that they have though. Because, I mean, this video is called Joker, and I'm sure there's probably plenty of others. That are probably really messed up, to be perfectly honest. And I'm going to say this now, but I don't think anything you're going to do to try and rehabilitate, I can't say the word, but yeah, to do that for the Joker and then put him back in society is going to work, if I'm brutally honest. If it does, then I'm going to be shocked. There's going to be a lot of money put into it and hopefully not out of my pocket. <laughs> Before you begin aiding in the rehabilitation of our patients, we find it very important to give you an idea of what kinds of patients you okay, encounter. Okay, we're going to find out now. Well, let's have a look then. So we've got interview patient 42540. Okay. Conducted by Dr. Stephen Kellerman. Date is October 20th, 1992. All right. This is Dr. Stephen Kellerman interviewing Arkham Asylum patient number 42540, otherwise known as the Joker. I really want to do the Joker patient voice, but I no can't. Other known alias. Don't need an alias when you have a winning smile, eh, hey, Doc? Damn. Very funny. So, Joker, let's talk about what we started to cover in our last session. What I will say is just listening to that Joker's voice then. Now, I think it's a voice actor. Now, and I'm sure they are. And I'm just going to give a praise right now before we continue with the video that that Joker voice was actually damn good. So, fair play. I wish I could do a Joker voice. I could try to do the laugh, like the intro, but I'd fail. So, never going to happen on my part. But you know what? If you can do it, fair fucking play. More about your childhood pet. Pet? Ah, yes. Chuckles, my goldfish. Ironically, yeah. quite a sad tale, I'm afraid. You see, when I was mere five years old, I was gifted him by Aunt Susie. She was quite the pompous windbag. Windbag. Boy, could she make a whoopee cushion sing. <laughs> Please, Joker. Try to take this serious. He's never going to take it serious, is he? And that laugh you. was good. Dead serious. Whoa, okay. Dead serious, Apologies. damn. Apologies. Please, continue. As I was saying, Aunt Susie bought me chuckles. That goldfish and I were best of friends. I took care of him, I fed him, and I practiced my jokes on him. We were best buds. Then one day, he was there, just. Floating on his back. Basically dead then. That That's unfortunate. Well, I can't remember, honestly. <laughs> what I do remember was going to tell my parents and seeing my mother push Whoa. Susie down the stairs. Wow. How's that for sibling rivalry? <laughs> this laugh is so good, bro. Horrible. That is horrible, I do I'm agree. Really sorry to hear that. But you're not sorry. Not nearly sorry yet. What exactly do you mean by that? Good question. What do they mean by yet? Well, obviously some of it's going to go down, right? You know what the Joker's like, though? The Joker's that kind of person that's like, mate, <clears throat> don't F with me. If you F with me, you're going to F with me and a load of other stuff as well. Like, your life is not... You shouldn't, you shouldn't even be living. That's the best way to put it. I mean... That you very trustingly believed everything I've said. You kind of got tonight. to, though, really, at well, the time, right? Well, you're only human, Joker. I'm merely trying to extend a hand by... Is listening. Joker really human, though? We all need to <laughs> feel hurt sometimes. Deep down? Wrong. Well, what's wrong? That we're only human. You may be, but you just like to assume that everyone is like you deep down. Doctor. Damn. Are you 
saying you're not human? <laughs> <laughs> I've always thought that, you know, Joker's always been, a, is, has, is a human being, but just very psychotic and messed up, obviously, due to his past. Uh, I did actually watch the most recent Joker film. Uh, I know there's another one coming out, I think, at the end of this year. Uh, but I watched one of the most the most recent one, and th the person that obviously the, the the film itself really did portray of the 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 bad things that happened within Joker's early life, you know, and it it really does show that you know, and this is like a proven fact I think as well, really, that people that have been brought up in like sometimes like bad neighborhoods or like bad childhood, like some things do kind of come out a bit later on in in your life um it, it's something that's i guess has kind of been proven in some respects i'm not a psychiatrist by professional obviously and by pro whatever you want to call it and i kind of wonder how they're going how Jigger's going to be like in this like i know it's only one video about him right now but like whether there's going to be a bit more to this we've still got three minutes left so i'm still sort of wondering where we're going to go here but let's let's find out whoa okay you're gonna make me jump there mate don't do that Okay, so we're now at 3 a.m. October 21st, 1992. Home of Dr. Stephen Kellerman. Hope it's, I bet he's got a nice home, isn't he? Mega rich man. Whoa, hello. We've got a door here. Hello. Whoa. That face is getting me every time. Whoa. Stop it, man. Oh. That fist distortion gets me. Oh. Creepy. Whoa. Okay, we're outside his house now. Nice house, though. His lights are on. Whoa. Something gonna happen. I'm kind of waiting for it. Whoa, that knocking, bro. Whoa. I'm getting a bit cold now. Whoa. Hello. Hi. Please don't do anything silly. Whoa. Oh my god, whoa. Come out. My question is, how the bloody hell did he get out of there? <laughs> so Dr. Kellerman, you know, he's done this interview with him and now he's he's come out. He's outside your house. What the hell's going on here? Let's keep going. I'm really intrigued, bro. Wow. Uh, I think Dr. Kellerman might be asleep, mate. Whoa. Oh god, is he going to open the door? <laughs> ah, that laugh, man. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Flip sake, dude. What makes you laugh, Stephen? <laughs> Whoa. No one is safe. Yeah, I, I can. That's definitely true. I can feel that. It was our first video, guys. Uh, the Arkham Tapes Joker. That was really good, bro. Damn. I was not expecting Joker to escape. I mean, he does normally escape from all of them, doesn't he? It always happens in, like, the games and that, and the films, whatever, right? But to see him end up turning up at his house, bloody hell. Uh, I, uh, I think you, at the end of it, you did hear Steve, uh, the, the doctor screaming. So Joker's obviously done something or whatever. And then it comes up at the end saying no one is safe. No one is safe from what? The Joker? Or are we talking more about the other patients that we have? We have got another two videos to watch today because we're going to be doing three of them. And we've got two other patients we're going to be looking at as well. But that was really good. And again, I will just say in regards to the voice acting by the Joker there, that or whoever it is, that was damn good. And that laugh was on point, bro. That was crazy. I actually really did enjoy that and I'm looking forward to watching the next video that we're going to be seeing now.
we are back. Oh, we have plenty of fun for the entire family. I like zoos, tigers, polar bears, penguins, and so much more. With the recent addition of our reptile house, now you can experience even more safari fun. Reptile house, killer croc. Are we kind of getting something here? Maybe we are. That's all I'm gonna say. You can pet the iguanas, watch the snakes in their habitats, and feed the crocodiles. Crocodiles. Wow. Uh, crocodiles. Yeah. So research uh, research session with our patient eight three eight three three five seven. Okay. Conducted by Dr. Kirk Langstrom. Okay, cool. Before we dive into the video anymore, I just want to say one thing that I kind of took from that. So, the video is called Killer Croc, okay? They then just said we can feed the crocs. So, we're going to be going in to maybe see the croc, Killer Croc, and we might end up feeding him. I hope I don't die by the end of this video by a crocodile or whatever. And I hope you guys are okay. Keep your chins up, guys. We're gonna not. We're not gonna feed him. We're gonna keep safe. Okay. This is Dr. Kirk Langstrom at Arkham Asylum on November fifteenth, nineteen ninety-two. Right. With the permission of Professor Hugo Strange, I'm here to conduct research with patient number eight three three five seven, Waylon Jones, alias Killer Croc. The aim of today's session is to isolate the mutagenic properties within Waylon's blood. Okay. I hope to determine if it has any medical application. Most likely. What's up, Doc? I don't get many visitors. What's up, Doc? That just reminds me of Bugs Bunny. I know that. I'm sorry if I've just ruined it. <laughs> but it just reminds me of Bugs Bunny. What's up, Doc? Is it, is it, I think it is Bugs Bunny, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, let's go. I think most people find me offsetting. Well, with that voice, I definitely well, would, yeah. I find your condition fascinating, Waylon. I'm very grateful for your cooperation. Yeah, for the money, definitely, <laughs> right? Does it seem like I have much of a choice now, does it? No, you don't. You're right. Regardless, this shouldn't take very long. I merely wish to take a blood sample today. Your funeral. That sounds about right. There. All done. Now to begin analysis. Mr. Jones, thank you for your contribution to science today. Well, what exactly is it that you plan on doing with my blood, Doc? Mm. I'm hoping that its mutagenic properties will help to aid with particularly tricky ailments. Cancer, Alzheimer's, even deafness. That's the purpose of my study. That's the purpose of your study, right? And also a purpose that you're going to make loads of money from it. And this guy... Killer Croc doesn't give a flying F blatantly, and that's why he's questioning you and saying, why are you going to be using my blood? Hmm. Bit convenient, isn't it? It's all about the money nowadays, man. It's all about the bloody money. And I can tell you, not that I... I I'm going to be honest. I would probably get involved in it. For the money, but still. Just money, money, bro. You find that amusing? I find it ironic, ass. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I mean. How is that? I'm sure Professor Strange told you about my natural immunities to most afflictions due to my condition. But did he give you the full story? I bet he didn't. There's more to it than that? Of course there I'm is. Hungry, Doc. Always hungry. Mm. Yes, I'm aware of your cannibalistic tendencies. I wouldn't even be I in that room with part him. Of your psychosis. <laughs> right. It's because my regressed due to my animalistic appearance. What the professor don't tell you or anyone else is that it's my blood, Doc. Damn. Longer, it takes me and it takes anything it wants. I'm actually just very surprised, right, that, like, this Dr. Kurt Langstrom, he doesn't seem scared at all, does he? Like, I would be, I mean, I don't know, now that he knows the full story, he might. But, like, honestly, if I was him, I'd be crapping myself, bro. I would be like, I don't even want to be near this killer croc, you know, whatever, because all, like he's saying, it's in his blood and he feeds and feeds. And it's like, you know what? If, if, if Kirk looks away for like a couple of seconds, that could be it. 
Like, would you really want to put yourself through that situation and potentially die? But then again, as I said before, it's about the money, isn't it? For the part of it, I guess. Or maybe it's just because they like their job. I don't know. But the money, I think it's me. For me, I think it is that. But yeah. Also, just to say, the voice acting in this, man, from the Joker was really good. This Kid of Crop one's good too. These actors, man, I hope they got paid. Am I supposed to believe that? It seems like you just don't want me to take your blood. Sam, <laughs> don't believe me. But once you use my blood to make a cure for deafness or whatever, don't come crying to me when things go wrong. I'm a crocodile. I ain't got tears to shed. I love that quote there. I'm a crocodile. I ain't got tears to shred. I love that. That's so good, bro. Wow. Uh-huh. Like I said, Hoss, your funeral. Uh-huh. <laughs> that laugh, man. What's going to happen now? Okay, first discovered with human remains in Gotham's sewer system. Let's have a look at this then, bro. Wow, this looks good, man. The effects on this, dude. My God. Whoa. Whoa. This looks so realistic, dude. Whoa. Whoa. I feel like I'm in a horror game. Whoa. It's like never ending. What is that? What the hell? Someone have drinking on the job? <laughs> oh. Stop it, man. <laughs> Got a ladder. Whoa. Why the hell would you even be in there? Is my question. F that. Are we gonna climb? I wouldn't go any further, mate, if I was you. Whoa. This is so realistic, dude. We're going even more deeper in. Can you stop going deeper? Take a step back. Ah, whoa, hello. Yeah, you might want to go, mate. I wouldn't, I don't think you want to be looking at that again. Your funeral. Whoa. Let's say, dude, stop. <laughs> I feel so so on edge right now. Whoa. That little transit. I just heard eating then, I think. Or something. Is that the exit? Whoa. Stop it. Whoa, why would you go in there, man? No, don't do it. Your funeral.
Just get out of there, man. Death wish. Whoa, okay. What the freak, dude? Yeah, where are you going? Come in, Crocs territory. It'll wipe you up, mate. Ah. Uh. Whoa. Hello. I am hungry. Another beer can. Bottle, sorry. My god, man. That, that, that distortion transition is getting me every fucking time, dude, honestly. Oh god. Whoa! Stop, my god, bro. Flip's sake. Don't turn around. Whoa! Alright, mate. Flip's sake, man. Ah. Oh. For God's sake. I got me right then. Yeah, we just did. <laughs> we just fed him. Oh my god, dudes. That was just unreal. That last little bit there was so like it so the thing is, right, this series so far has had jump scares, but it's it's been they've like they've the creators are so good at making it unnerving and like really like tense. And it's not obvious when something's gonna come either. And that sewer scene, though, was on another level. The quality of that was crazy. That scene was just next level. The voice acting was really good. Like, I can't get over it. And it just shows, like, we're really getting to know these patients very well. And uh, RIP to host. But anyway, right, we're going to move on to the next video now. And I think this one... I think this one is the best one so far, by far. Joker was great, but that suicide, man. I ain't going to be able to sleep tonight, and I hope you guys can't either. Join me in the non, the not sleep club, <laughs> as we say. Hello again. We're back. We here at Wayne Tech Bioengineering pride ourselves on being the top provider for medical innovation here in Gotham City. All right. Our focus on scientific advancement and cures for rare diseases and conditions have put us on the map. Our the employees money, yeah. care deeply for the people that we are helping. To learn more about Wayne Tech Bioengineering, visit our website at... What? Date is December 29th, 1992. All right, this cool. This is Dr. Kirk Langstrom at the Wayne Enterprises Bioengineering Division. After extensive research, I believe I finally have the tools I need to develop what I've been after all along. Mm. A cure for the deafness that has been beginning to afflict me. And afflicts count. The video, I think, looks like it does link to Killer Croc, uh, in a way. Because now we're a bit further on. Kirk has turned around and gone, okay, I've obviously now got the information I needed in regards to curing deafness and all of that, which obviously is afflict starting to afflict him at this point and obviously countless others, blah, blah, blah. So I guess it, it does kind of follow on from the previous video because we took Killer Croc's blood to then see if we could, you know, try and work something out or whatever. And I guess this kind of just follow on from that. So, like, he's now got the information he needed. Assuming that is from the blood of Killer Croc, which I'm going to assume it is. I could be wrong if I am. Please say. 
but I'm going to assume that is okay. Compound incorporates the DNA of vampire bats with the goal of targeting their unique sense of hearing and echolocation. Yeah, they got good hearing, definitely. The mutagens within the blood from Arkham patient number 83357 proved to be the definitive factor in this project. Okay. I'm very optimistic about the in tomorrow. Animal testing? Oh, that's not good. Don't want to be testing the animals, mate. December 30th, 1992. I have introduced the compound into the system of the host, Dimitri the Death Rat. Imagine testing on me. How fucking rude, bro. Don't be testing on rats. That's me. You guys are going to start testing things on me next, aren't you? For your makeup and shit. <laughs> I don't fucking know anyway, whatever. After hours of waiting, still nothing. We'll resume observation tomorrow. Cool. Wow, that 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 December transition, man. Every time. Dimitri has markedly improved in his hearing ability. All right. Responds to vocal commands instead of just visual stimuli. It seems. It seems that my compound is a success. And loads of money, mate. Mr. Wayne sees this project as potentially unethical. No surprise. He has given me a deadline, but will not approve human trials. I must mm. attempt to convince him somehow. How are you going to do that? That's my question. How are you going to do that? 1993. A new year, a new outlook. I still have not been approved to begin human trials, despite Dimitri's improvement. I will not let this stop me. It seems that I may have no choice but to test my compound on myself. F that. What better trial <laughs> subject than someone who has already had signs of deafness? True, I, I mean... We'll document the process beginning to... I guess you can kind of see it that, you know, if he's unable, I mean, he shouldn't be doing it to himself anyway, because like we said, you know, the company, you know, John Wayne, whatever, that, you know, they haven't confirmed that it, they, human trials can be done. But, you know, he's, see, is he kind of going against them here? In I think he's kind of going against them here in some aspects, isn't he? Because he's like, well, do you know what? Like, I'm not getting it approved, but do you know what? I've got the signs of deafness and I'm kind of going through it right now. So I'm just going to test myself. And I guess, because what he's just said here, we'll document the process beginning tomorrow. So I guess we're going to be starting the testing tomorrow on him. Very 2nd, 1993. I will now introduce the compound into my okay, system. Okay, so we are. He is testing himself. Today okay. marks the first step towards a better future for Gotham and the world. Oh, with well, a joker out there, probably not. <laughs> there. Oh. I've informed my wife, Francine, that I will remain within Wayne Tech's bioengineering division over the next few days okay the facilities here will be more than capable of accommodating me must have some good facilities then ain't you january 3rd i mean obviously 93. i'm elated Ooh. my hearing has begun to sharpen nice i feel 10 years younger we'll continue to remain here for self-observation until i'm absolutely sure and i think it's kind of obvious and i think we all know this right now that there's blatantly going to be some side effects if there isn't, then I don't even know what to tell you. <laughs> but there's, there's blatantly going to be something that's going to happen. January 4th, 1993. Today I prevented a disaster. What was that then? I heard a sound. A slight buzz buzz buzzing Whoa. coming from the walls. Oh, really? I alerted security who contacted the fire department and got them electrical. Right. They said I prevented an electrical fire, though they were confused how I'd heard the buzzing through the wall. I merely shrugged it off as lucky, but I know the real reason. Oh, I bet you do. Of course you do. Whoa. January 5th, 1993. Dimitri has developed a ravenous appetite. Oh, yeah. He eats twice the amount of food he normally does on a daily basis. Of course he does. I've observed an increase in his metabolism and must make precautions should the same change occur in my hearing continues to grow sharper by the day. Yeah, of course it does. I swear, I can almost hear people in the hallways from you'll behind be, the door. You'll be hearing people from like a million miles away soon, it's wouldn't you? like hearing their thoughts. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. January 6th, 1993. I'm not sure how, but Dimitri escaped his cage. Of course he did. It looks as if the lock has been broken. It's a minor inconvenience, but should not affect the project as a whole. It's a minor inconvenience. I have not experienced any hunger. But I've begun to develop a toothache. 
Yeah, because you're getting bigger teeth blatantly, also, right? Is it just me, or is there more hair falling off my head? Oh my god. It's probably just my imagination. No, it's definitely not. <laughs> it's not. January 7th. You're mutating, January mate, 8th. I think. I awoke to find that my upper and lower canine teeth had fallen out. Oh. This is cause for concern, and I'm trying to determine whether or not this is related to the compound in my system. The sound coming from outside my laboratory is almost deafening now. Damn. I've had to reinforce the lab with soundproofing materials to relieve the strain on my ears. And what did I tell you? We knew there was going to be side effects, and they're all coming now. And they're coming so bloody quick, though, man. It's only been a couple of days, and he's getting, like, all these, like, you know, different things. It's nuts. You know what? I would hate to lose my teeth, especially if I woke up one morning and I've just, like, lost a couple of teeth. I'm like... The frick? I would probably. I don't know. I'll be going to the dentist anyway, put it that way. <laughs> I'll be like, dentist time! January 8th, 1993. Here we go. I'm beginning to experience a deep, intense hunger. Yeah, of course you are. I've stocked up on food in preparation for my stay here at Penn's Hunger. I thought. I've stocked up on. Sorry for pausing it there and just for a minute, guys. I thought it said somewhere where Dr. Kurt Langstrom was, but it didn't. It was just Fizz. It's fine. Food in preparation for my stay here at Wayne Tech, but I'm worried about it running out sooner than I expected. Of course it's going to be. You might want to get some more then, mate. Sign of Dimitri. I He's swear, gone. My hair seems to be falling out in clumps now. I still remain myself other than these symptoms. And I'm not unhealthy by medical standards. How the hell are you not un actually saying that? I was I was just about to say, like, how are you not unhealthy by medical standards? But then I guess it depends on which way you look at it. I'm not a med I'm not a medical person in the field, so I don't know. Maybe in like in the a real life situation right now, it would probably be a bit unhealthy because you lost your teeth, you're losing your hair, uh, all of a sudden from because you're going through this sort of experiment you're doing on yourself. You know, eat, eat, you're not always hungry and eating more, and then you're worried you're going to run out of food. You might want to go to Walmart, mate, and go and grab some food quick time, you know what I'm saying? Then again, I don't live in the US. I'm just using Walmart because it's the only thing I can think of right now. <laughs> but there we are. We'll go get some food. Alright. Whoa. January 9th, 1993. The food ran out this morning. Of course it did. Told you to I go to Walmart. Scuttling and discovered Dimitri behind a shelf. Okay. I could hardly restrain myself at holding the creature. Oh, did he eat it? Alive, I bet he did, didn't he? Wriggling and delicious. It, yeah. Before I, mean... I knew what I was doing, I had torn into the poor creature. Of course you have. I found that my canines had been replaced by fangs, resembling those of a vampire bat. What the hell? I would ask the help of my fellow employees, but I'm worried how they would react. Best to keep myself contained for now until I can get to the bottom of this. So you know exactly what they would do. If he went and told them this, and he's like, so just to let you know, I've been I've been eating a lot more. Uh, I've eaten a basically a live rat. <laughs> That's been mutated in some respect, right? Uh, I've lost my teeth. I now look like a vampire. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit weird. They're probably going to put you in confinement and then you're not going to be able to go through the process of what you're trying to do. But honestly, this guy is a bit of an idiot. Why would you, I just, I don't know. I just wouldn't test it on myself. Knowing the, knowing the, the symptoms and that, and he knows this. It's just, a, I don't know. I just don't really, I don't get some people, bro. Like, why? Why do you make decisions like this? Like, why? January 11th, 1993. My hair is gone. I can feel my ears changing too, almost as if they are elongating. Whoa. Yeah. The tiniest sounds register in my hearing, and it's like I can hear my own heartbeat. Yeah, you're changing into a bat, it's mate. Erotic, we know. We get it, okay? Normal. We get it. You're a bat. <laughs> Some of my fingernails have fallen out. I'm... I'm growing increasingly concerned. Francine? If you hear this, I'm sorry. You don't sound very sorry, but I do. You. you put yourself in a situation yourself, you January idiot. January 14th, 1993. Like... The sound. The sound is echoing in my ears. Duh. My <laughs> hunger is growing with each day. Yeah. 
I've begun to see claws form where my fingernails were, and a membrane is beginning to form under my arms. Oh my god. I can't bring myself to look in the mirror anymore. I don't recognize myself. City man. I worry that one of these days I will no longer be Kirk Langstrom, but instead whatever this creature is. Man, man, you. Oh, oh, that was a bit creepy. Yeah. January nineteenth, nineteen ninety-three. His voice has really changed, there, man. I see red. I yep. hear God. Whoa. He tells me that he has forsaken me. I hunger for flesh, for blood. Ah. Uh. I can fly like the angels now. Of course you can. You are back. I can hear heartbeats. Man and back. Their blood calls out to me. I understand now, Waylon. I can feel the hunger in my blood. I must feed. Go and do it then. But don't feed on me. Ah! <laughs> What the frick, bro? Ah! Ah! What's sight, dude? Seven people have been found dead throughout the Narrows this past week. The bodies of the victims have been found completely drained of blood and are viciously mangled. Oh yeah, I bet. Authorities are unsure as to a suspect, but some witnesses have described the murderer as a giant creature resembling a bat. A man bat, yeah. <laughs> All we have to go on is this video sent in to us from an anonymous source. What the frick, dude? Really? Wow. That's some big flipping wings, mate, isn't it? Bloody hell. Damn, that's big. Woo! That screech is on another level, and my god, they, they flew quick, didn't they? The police are currently seeking the Batman for questioning. Uh, of story course. As develops. I'm Vicky Vale, and this is Gotham City News. Of course, they're going to put Batman on it. He's the closest one to it, isn't he? Whoa. This is Professor Hugo Strange, warden of Arkham Asylum. Hello. I have been asked to review and collect numerous interviews and footage to compile them into instructional tapes for new staff here at Arkham. Which we had with Joker. Upon Dr. Langstrom's admission here, I've seen both the potential and destruction wrought by his research. Mm-hmm. I must undertake experiments with it in order to remedy his condition. Okay. I hope that my work will help countless others and will help to bolster my reputation if my plans are ever to come to fruition. With money as well, yeah. Don't forget the money part. There we are, guys. That was the man bat, and that is the end of the video. So thank you for watching today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, the Arkham Tapes... My god, we've only watched three of them. There are like, I don't know, I can't remember how many there are exactly, but there's quite a few more. We're going to go back to them. I might go back to them quite quickly, actually, because I really enjoyed this. The quality of these, man, and the voice acting is just amazing. Like, the Joker acting, the laugh was really good. And, like, that, the, the scene that we saw within the, uh, what are they called now? The sewers, that's it, the sewers. God really really good quality bro like next level and that actually put me on edge and this is the thing like this whole series so far like i said has had jump scares but it's made it's because of how like unnerving it is and just like some of like the effects and the distortion effects used it keeps you on edge and i've been i've looked not looked away from the screen once really while recording and watching this and obviously reacting to it for you guys like it's, it's really kept me hooked and i'm really excited to check out more make sure to go and watch more of these guys there are more to watch if you want to check them out before i react to them then you know go ahead the 
creator is in my description go and subscribe and like their videos and give them some watch time if you enjoyed my reaction and you want to see me check out more of these and just more analog horror in a general situation then make sure to subscribe to me and leave me a like on the video and leave a comment as well would be much appreciated but other than that guys thank you for watching i hope you have a great day and thanks for your time peace out keep it locked and leave me alone.